Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a look at what's in store for fishing in BFA. The first thing to notice is a change in how the new fish are distributed. So previously, you would have one type of fish in the ocean, and then one type of fish per zone, and as soon as you cross the border, you're catching an entirely different fish. They do not cross paths. In BFA, it's going to work a little bit differently. There are going to be two valid fish you could catch in any given place, and you're going to catch them in roughly equal quantities. There is no specific trash fish in Legion. Instead, every area has two fish that you'll be able to catch. Multiple zones share the same pairings of fish, and that's going to make a lot more sense in a second with a really well done infographic map. Now, things are still split up between ocean and inland waters, so in the coastal waters of the Col Terrasse zone, that is Drustvar, Stormsong Valley, and Tiergard Sound, you are going to be catching Lane Snapper and Frenzied Fangtooth. In the inland waters of those zones, you're going to be catching Great Sea Catfish and Tiragard Perch. Over in the oceans of Zandalar, you're going to be catching Sand Shifters and Slimy Mackerel, while the inland waters have Red-Tailed Loaches and, once again, Great Sea Catfish. You can find fish school nodes for any of those types of fish, and I was seeing them in roughly equal numbers. Another thing I noticed is that while you will still fish up trash, the catch rate of the actual fish is very good even with zero fishing skill in open water, and then of course the catch rate of fish is going to be 100% when fishing in their schools. On beta, I wasn't actually getting any fishing skill ups at all from fishing, but that's pretty weird, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's a bug until I find out otherwise. So you're in BFA and you've caught your fish. You could cook with it, you could sell it, you could vendor it, you could delete it just because, or you can right click it to extract some oil from it. Right clicking any fish will destroy the fish but create an aromatic fish oil, which is itself a cooking reagent needed to create Mondazi, Loa Loaf, Ravenberry Tarts, or Kul Tiramisu, which are all stat foods that you make in BFA. Not only does that potentially mean that there's going to be a higher value on fish because they're kind of needed twice, but that also means that there's going to be a base value for the fish because even if it's not used to craft anything super good, you can always turn it into oil and that used to craft stuff that's pretty good. In Battle for Azeroth, you can expect some fun new fishing achievements. The first one is called Anglin for Battle, and that requires you to catch 100 fish, and if you are fishing, you're probably going to. Next, Scent of the Sea requires you to convert 100 fish into aromatic fish oil, which sounds a little bit smelly. Fish Me in the Moonlight requires you to catch 50 Midnight Salmon, so those are more often caught at night and possibly only caught at night, that's the only time I managed to catch one, and they are pretty rare. I managed to catch one of those after fishing for about 40-ish minutes, and I caught it around 11 11 p.m. ish. Getting 50 of these is probably going to take you a while, but also something that can kind of happen alongside of the rest of your fishing, assuming that you do some part of that at night. You don't have to go fish in any specific area or any specific pool. You can catch these alongside everything else, just, you know, at night. Those are currently a crafting region to make feasts. You're going to need two of them to create a galley banquet and five of them to create a bountiful captain's feast. And they're pretty rare, so they're probably going to sell for quite a bit of gold. If you hate gold and you want a shortcut to the nearest fishing node, you can also right-click one to consume it. It'll plop you right in the middle of the nearest fishing node. There is a maximum range on that. I couldn't figure out exactly what it was, but when I tried to do this in Borlas, it wouldn't let me, so you have to be somewhere close to them, and you may as well just ride to it, because you can probably sell this for quite a bit of gold. Baiting the enemy is kind of a PvP BFA fishing achievement. For Horde, you're going to need to fish up a Rasborlis, which can only be caught in Proudmore Keep, so not only Borlas, Borlas, but like inner Borlas. For Alliance players to get that achievement, they're going to need to fish up an Utaka, which can only be found here in the pyramid of Zoladalazalazar. I need a map. Dazaralor apparently. So those rare fish can be found in pools in the innermost parts of the capital cities of BFA. They are fishable by both factions, but you only get the achievement for fishing the one of the opposite faction. And those fish can be actually vendored for 50 gold apiece by anybody, so if somebody decides that they want like 150 gold for fishing out one of those pools, then it, maybe you need to wait for a new one to spawn. <laughs> Doing those achievements is definitely something that's going to be favored towards stealth classes. Catching some rays requires you to fish up a great sea ray from coastal waters of BFA. I have not seen one, and they are probably going to be rare as heck. Our latest news on the Underlight Angler situation is still probably going to carry forward, so at this time it's still a really good idea to get one if you do not already have one, and I do have a guide that will help walk you through exactly how to get it if you haven't done that already. But that is currently what we're looking at for fishing in BFA. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think, and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!